You know what's a problem nowadays? A problem that a lot of parents have is that they all want their kids to go to the best universities and best schools. I've been to Ivy League schools. I've been to Oxford. I know for a fact that a lot of people in there are there for the brand name and not because they know what they want to do in the future. And once they come out with that degree, if they come out with that degree, they're like, now what? And they're forced to do something that they feel like they should continue doing. So for example, I'm in academia. I started in academia. I got my degree in sociology. And here's my own story is, yeah, okay, I wanted to do education. I wanted to do, I was a teacher before. I wanted to do something about education. I went to Ivy League school for education degree. I went to Oxford for my sociology degree. And then I thought, okay, I have to be a professor because you're in that bubble. You think you have to be something that the bubble tells you to be. It wasn't until I came back and started to, came back to Toronto, lived here for several years and realized, hey, you know what? I don't want to be a professor. I hate sitting down and writing manuscript after manuscript. And I hate asking for funding. Like that's, this is something I don't like doing. But it wasn't until I left that bubble and explored other things that I realized like, hey, you know, there's not only one way out of these things. And the fact that your child feels pigeonholed to do only one thing or something that they don't want to do is because they haven't explored other options. They haven't tried it seriously or they haven't had, they haven't been encouraged to try. And so that they don't have the bravery to try. It's not part of them. It's not coded in them. They don't think it's an option. So letting them know early that this is an option, this is something they can do, is very important if you don't want your child to go down a path that they don't want to go. That's going to make everyone miserable.